Hello and welcome back to the channel. Well, I've got another guest shooter with me this weekend and he's come over to help me with some grey squirrel shooting. He's also going to be trying out a scope that he's got to review. This is the One Leaf NV100 and I'm still going to be using my Arkan Zulus LRF because between you and me, I absolutely love this scope. Whilst we're there, the bus from Squirrel Town, the X-59, turns up, the doors open, and drops a load of residents off all at the same time. Hope you enjoy this video. Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Next to me, I've got Jim Wood. He's made the long journey across the ocean from the Isle of Wight. Uh, Jim doesn't have grey squirrels there. Uh, he's got red squirrels. But today, Jim has come, well, this weekend, Jim has come. We're going out to do a bit of rabbit shooting tonight, and tomorrow morning, very early, I'm taking him over to the woods to hopefully bag a few grey squirrels. So, Jim, you've got your own channel, haven't you? What, what, yeah. what stuff do you cover on there? Majority of it is um, rabbit shooting and fox shooting. Um, obviously, not done any squirrel shooting or anything like that. Yeah. Um, but uh, even rats, I don't have a video on rats or anything. All the farms that I've got must be the cleanest in the country. Oh, there's just no rats about. <laughs> but um, but yeah, no, definitely looking forward to having a go at the grey yeah, squirrels. Yeah, so, nice. like I say, the, the red ones are the native ones to the Isle of Wight. But um, well, well, yeah, here yeah, they were originally. Well, they were yeah. until they were brought over, weren't they? Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so mainly rabbits and foxes for me. Well, good. Well, I've sent you some footage this week of where we're going in the daylight because it's yeah. unfair to take Jim completely in the dark. So I've cleared the path away about four days away of all the leaves and twigs that are going to crack. We're going to get be going in there in total darkness around about seven o'clock. First visitors to that feeder have been going in about three minutes to eight. So it'll be interesting to see uh, if they've got their watches working. Uh, but as everything, you cannot promise any action. No. I know Robin's come twice now to the Forest of Dean, uh, hopefully to bag a pig. I went six times before I got my pig, so um, it, it could be early days. I so said, we can't promise anything. We've done all we've got can yeah. do. It's down to nature now. Of um, tonight we're going to go and do a bit of rabbit shooting. Yeah. And again, it's yeah. not a very nice evening, but you know, we can only go and try. You're not going to shoot anything by sitting at home watching Netflix. No, definitely not. Oh, yeah. So no. let's get prepared, let's get ready, let's get out there and see what we can do. But thank you very much for, for making this journey. That's right, no problem. You didn't right. even bring me a stick of rock. No, <laughs> not all your wife flowers <laughs> instead. Oh, there we go, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I'll say this was probably going to be, uh, I've got one more trip planned to go to the forest with Dan Martin, the lucky man that won that uh, weekend with George. And then after that, mate, the, uh, the Tuesday after that, I'm in hospital, so I'm out of action. Uh, I won't even be going to the British shooting show, so I'd be sad to say I won't be there to see you and some of the uh, promoters there. But um, he's going. I'm going. Robin's going, be... going, so wave the flag for me. Of course. And, uh, I'll be there on the Saturday. And bring me back some gizzards. Yes. All right, mate. Well, thanks for popping over. Let's go and have a look, see if we can cause some havoc out in the fields. Yeah. See you yeah. later on. So this is before tidying up as you can see it's really crunchy on the ground there's sticks everywhere so i'm planning to come here thursday prior to the shoot on sunday uh, with jimmy wood so let's just have a crunch back see there's our hive keith and i built and the chosen way in is from the back of the car park so we can't actually be seen coming in so there is a route through here. And all I'll do is come with a rake and I'll clear about a two foot wide path. Just have to watch this bit here, a bit of a gully, but that's it. And then we're out into the car park. Well, I've just been around now with a rake and a broom and swept up all of the loose sticks. Made a bit of a pathway to show the mud. It's all white at the moment because of the frost. But that's the path up to the feeder, so Jim and I can put some cameras there in the dark on Sunday morning. I've swept out the hide. This is our entry point. And then the access path from the car park as you can see. 
So apart from the crunching of the frozen ground, we should be able to now get in relatively quietly as possible. It's not fair to bring Jim here in the dark, having not seen it in daylight. So this film will go to Jim, so he's got an idea of what to expect now. So there we go, we're out onto the pass now, and I shall park right here, so we don't have to walk far with the, with the kit. So there we go, that's the preparation on this one, slightly different to the airfield woods. Um, there was no leaf canopy there, it's all just broken sticks. So prepare and prepare again. And the other thing I've broken down is all of these branches here, these eye-catching branches, I've taken all those down in there again, because that'll spoil your day. Get one of those in your eye. I need to rush it, mate. I've just sit there for ages now. Just a quick re-ride now from the overview camera so you can see exactly how dark that was. It was too dark to see it with the naked eye. We had to pick that out with a thermal spotter. Back on again with Jim and his one leaf NV100. Quick look now from that overview camera. This is called a cross tour. It's a cheaper version of the GoPro and they're available on Amazon. They do exactly the same job. Obviously the bus has arrived because there's a bus load of squirrels now all coming for an early breakfast. Having that overview is a valuable asset when you're reviewing footage. Back on now with Jim and his one leaf. Got a 56mm lens on this day scope, which comes as part of the kit. And the glass on it is absolutely crystal clear. So you could use that just as the day scope and then add that add on device for night vision with its own infrared light source. Quick view from my Griffin, which was fixed up on a, a arm permanently. So the body count is now catching up. Again, back on now with the cross tour. Oh, fidgety again, so that's a good sign there's something else around that we haven't seen yet. now to the rifle we thought that chap was going to get snagged up by his toenails but he does drop eventually hot chocolate and a crosshair bun and we've got to have a crosshair bun And something to shoot, of course. You've done very well, so Not too bad, is it? I'd say it's, it will seem to come on a bus. Yeah. No, you've, uh, you've done all right so far. Right. Let's try the range finder. Yeah, click it on. Oh, I'm saying 21 now. I'll tell you what, mate, if I move back a couple of inches, it's going to say 22. That's it, yeah, it's flickering, it's not far off the 22. It's, um... Process back to swearing. That's it. That's the, uh, for our American viewers, that is the length between the stumps on a cricket field, 22 yards. 
are also known as a chain if you have an allotment. Did you know that? A chain. A chain. 22 hours is a chain. I don't know it's whether it's a naval thing. My dad always told me that. Yeah. Great tits. It's nice to see now that the birds have, you know, they weren't there early, were they? The squirrels were about, but they're sort of going at it. Well, we're going to switch over again now to Jim and the One Leaf NV100. And Jim, being new to squirrel shooting, he got fell into the trap of chase the target. There was obviously a couple of targets wandering around, and I know it is infuriating and sometimes off-putting for viewers at home to follow a scope around. But I've left this because this is what it is really like in a hide. It's not all perfect and sometimes two, three, sometimes even four turn up and it is a difficult decision to make on which one to take on. Always best to try and get the one which is on the feeder because you know he's going to sit there and fill his face. There is one up there, Jim hasn't yet seen it. I am trying to talk to him but he's conscious on getting those two. Here we go, he's, he's on it now, he's locked on the target. Again, this one's a bit skittish. There we go, they're always up and down. You've just got to wait for that moment. Let them sort themselves out. Let the boss of that group make his stand. Most of these squirrels, 70% of what we shot today were males. What we were trying to do was a 3-2-1 and do a double, but the, every time I aimed at one, he moved. Every time Jim aimed at one, he moved. So in the end, I think I decide let Jim take the lead and sort his one out first. Again, you can see he's not very happy. That's the reason why. And I think sometimes it's better to leave a video like this in its raw state. If you just have a squirrel sat on the feeder, people will think that's what happens. It isn't. This is what happens. I'm going for the top one. Off they go again. No, I won't. <coughs> There's another one coming There's in. There's four now, I think, which has turned up. Yeah. Now where have they gone? There's another one comes into the play. And goes out again. Clanging of the lid again. I'm just waiting for him to get a nut out first. That's the That's dinner right. bell clanging. What do you want to do? One gone down the back on the on the rear tree that you just saw. Jim will be doing a full review of this one leaf on his own channel. So he has allowed me to pinch some of the bits that I needed to make this video. Come on Jim, it must be time to sort this one out. Well done. Right, this is the, my view of Jim's shot now that he's just taken through the Arkham Zulus. There you go. And this is a 4K scope, a 5 to 20 zoom, 
uh, it's a lovely piece of kit. Small, light, and compact. Nice off, well done. Right, the other one's up the tree. That was the one that we saw in that previous clip. And that's the way to sort them out. Jim spotted the magpie, but the magpie spotted Jim. We've had a pair of tits. We might as well have a nice big cock as well. <laughs> what? Oh, that's David Attenborough's script, mate, like that is. Yeah. It's the sort of thing he'd say. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I think he might write it slightly different. Well, you could have done. Here he comes. He's going to come and nick all that food. They're beautiful birds, aren't they? I don't load my gun until I'm going to shoot it, so don't get all funny that I'm going to shoot it. No, 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 no. Like I said, sometimes people get upset that you're pointing a gun at birds or at woodpeckers. I said, I don't, I don't ever load this until there's something to shoot. Let's have a zoom in on this fella. Look at that, what a beautiful bird. India they're from, aren't they, originally? Really? Yeah, I believe so. I think the peacocks are as well, old peacock that's here now. He can't believe his luck, look, look at him. Nice thing on this scope, you can change that's without even going in a menu. And change your reticle. Oh. Where did that come from? Let's get him. Where did that come from, Jim? Down the tree. You've got to wait. He's gorging his food. Look. right up there in the distance just managed to get a bit of footage of it on the scope there's the one there never can see it if I can see it through this but just got a corner of him that one was about 60 yards away this one again is on the tree above the feeder and he'd been up and down like a horse draws finally stopping there checking to make sure the area was clear before coming down up a little stretch come down and have some breakfast so he's been up and down up and down distracted by other squirrels being around but eventually that draw of nuts will bring them in so in that feeder is some maize some peanuts and some black sunflower seeds sunflower seeds are the great thing to have because they leave so much mess on the floor you could go to that box even if you haven't got a trail camera by all the mess and debris which is left around you would know that there is a squirrel there feasting on the nuts so they're a cheap option so black sunflower seeds and a few peanuts of our hot chocolate break. I'm on him, so 
There you go, he's going up. Had a quick look at all his dead mates. Now we're going to have some breakfast. Yeah, let's go and get something to eat. Closer, do you want to zoom in? Oh. I was just zoomed in on that and you shot it. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting some nice sort of David Attenborough footage of that, and all of a sudden it disappeared. I'll tell you what, Jim, there's a very unhealthy pile of bodies down there on the floor. That's a typical put a kettle on and one turns out. Still, he's watching. Okay. It's going uphill. It's going up. Keep still. He's watching. Is it me or you? You can go. Trying to make the tea here. Not sure, is it? You've got the earthquake. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. You might hang there now. He's got his leg caught. Dosh. I'll tell you what, he gets a 10 for dramatic exit, doesn't he? There you go, Jim. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I say you can't always promise that we're going to see anything. No. Unfortunately for us, we did. Um, I think we shot one more and I can't find it. So we've got 10 here confirmed and there's one outstanding on the missing list. But, um, I'm really pleased with that. He did come virtually on time. He was four minutes early. As he I was. said, I've been watching him. He was. Um, well, watching them uh, for the last week or so, and then sort of three minutes to eight. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's it. Proves that a, a trail camera is is you know is, you definitely need that. To, yeah, it's to know. worth its weight in gold, isn't it? But in all honesty, I've only ever seen two at the same time on the trail camera. So really, but the thing is that they all look the same, <coughs> don't they? Yeah, that's it. A lot of males, I think it's probably 70% of what we shot today were males. Um, so, brilliant. Well done, mate. I'm glad you've made the trip over. Yeah, no, it's um, been... Uh, do you want to take some of those back to the Isle of Wight? Uh, no, you're right. Okay. No. <laughs> no, no, I'll leave them with you. You well seem done. to well, be more familiar with them than we are over there. Horrible so. things. Absolutely horrible things. But, but um, uh, it was nice, though, literally right from the word go that they started turning up. Yeah. That first one, we'd only been in the high... Sort of 20 odd minutes, wasn't it? Really, well, I'll say that's the importance of getting here in the dark. I'll say all that preparation that I did on Thursday, sort of three or four days ago, is, is the gold dust. I said we were able to get in here nice and quiet. I sent you a video of daylight so you knew what to expect. Yeah, um, get in, get set up, get that one camera put out, and then sit down and wait. And like I say, he, he turned up virtually on cue. Yeah. So, no. brilliant, well done, mate. I'm really glad it all paid out. Um, I should probably put a video together uh, whilst I'm recovering from my other hip operation, so I'm not going to rush yeah. to get this out, but no, I'll, I'll give you the footage, you uh, crack on and do what you want to do. Yeah, I've got some um, footage. It's going to be interesting because obviously I'm using the um, MV100 from One Leaf. Yeah. Um, 
the footage that you're going to see from that, there's going to be no image enhancements on it or anything. Brilliant. It is literally straight out of the box Excellent. on the scope. Yeah. Um, there may be some parts where the image quality may look a little bit sort of fuzzy, but that yeah. could be down to me. Um, I haven't played around with the settings a great deal, but hopefully it's going to look all right when I put yeah. my video together. So. Um, sort of first impressions of it. I, I think it's a great little it's, unit. It's a great, it's a great, it's a great, great piece of kit. I went into Yorkshire then. Yeah, aye, aye, aye. Aye. Aye, up, lad. Aye, it's a great, lovely piece of kit. <laughs> but yes, out of the box, I say this. I've got a one leaf MV100, which is an add-on to go on the back of my Hawk scope. But that comes as a complete package, doesn't it? Yeah, that was with uh, the unit itself, and it came with. Um, the scope, the scope yeah. and what I love about it is just like the, the bayonet tight fitting so you literally just twist and lock yeah. you haven't got to worry like with the par where you get different collars different for the scopes yeah. it's yeah. you know it's designed with that scope no, for brilliant. that it's brilliant it's, um, not, it's a one shop it is one shop stop yeah. isn't it? But it is it's brilliant anyway that's going to be a different video um, yeah. obviously I was using that uh, Arkan Zulus again with the LRF um, I can't fault it no uh, you know, again, it's a, a scope, take it out of the box, put it on the gun and use it, and it's really easy to use. And the good thing with, what I found with that is your settings are A to Z, so 26 rifles you can put that on. That's incredible. I'm going to have to start buying some more now. Yeah, but, I, um, I don't have enough room in my cabinets. Oh, no, I know, <laughs> but I say two great little scopes. Um, yeah. On the budget level, really, for people sort of looking for something to do, what Jim and I have been doing today. Yeah. Both sub-12 guns as well, so we're not using any super duper power stuff no but uh, there you go it's a simple setup on the squirrels something anybody can do once you've got yourself a bit of land to do it in so thanks very much for watching jim thank you very much mate thank thanks you for, for thanks for making this. the trip over oh, it's, it's, it's nice brilliant. to see you yeah it's been brilliant and uh, i will see you all when i'm fully bionic that's something, eh? that's something to wait for isn't it <laughs> <laughs> see you later Cheers, guys. Well, there's the details of Jim's own channel on YouTube. Go over and have a look at some great scope reviews and some brilliant shooting. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you when I've got two new hips.